In this video, we're going to be finding out the top 25 most wanted vintage collection figures voted by the fans. Collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and as I mentioned in the intro we're going to be taking a look at the top 25 most wanted vintage collection figures voted by the fans. Now just to give you a little bit of history around this the guys over at the SWTVC Instagram page they posed a question back in January asking all their followers to submit their most wanted all new vintage collection figures so that means all new sculpts no kit bashing or anything like new figures. And they also posed the question in the Facebook group, the Vintage Collection Facebook group run by John Miko. They got a bunch of replies, over 700 different characters were included. So massive props to the guys for sorting all of that data out and coming up with the top 25. Before we do get onto this, I just want to shout out John Linquist for allowing me to use his images that they did use on their Instagram page. These are all the very cool concept card backs that they use you know, in the hope that Hasbro take notice and make them just like this because they are pretty damn awesome. Now, I do want to say that I would like to know your most wanted characters in the comment section below, so don't forget to do that. But also, the guys over at SWTVC are running a bracket tournament using the top 64 from these results. So that's going to be a pretty cool thing, pretty fun. So if you want to head over to SWTVC on Instagram and take part in that, that'll be a lot of fun. Now, don't forget, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And with all that being said, let's get straight onto it. Let's get on to the number 25. And in 25th place is the second sister Inquisitor from the video game Jedi Fallen Order. As you can see, John has mocked up an incredible car back for this one. This will be the first figure from the Jedi Fallen Order to be made in the Vintage Collection. If this one was ever to be made, we, we do not have any of those right now. So it's a good shout. I know a lot of people would like this. And she's in 25th place. In 24th place, we have Pong Krell, Jedi General. Now, anyone that watches my channel will know that I'm not overly bothered about this character. I don't really like the style of that alien. It all goes back to Dexter from Attack of the Clones. It, not really for me, that one. This one's on a Clone Wars card, obviously, and a lot of people wanted this one. He's in 24th place. In 23rd place is our first character from Rogue One on this list, and it is Baze Malbus. Of course, we recently got Chirrut Imwe, so this guy would go very, very nicely with him indeed. Amazing character, love the film Rogue One, and this, this particular one would be very, very high on my list. In 22nd place, we have Garazeb Aurelius, or just Zeb. He is obviously from the animated TV series Rebels, and the first Rebels figure to enter the list. I can understand this one because obviously the Black series have got the whole gang from the Ghost, and we have zero of those figures represented in the Vintage Collection, so... Zeb's a pretty cool character. Again, very nice artwork on this card back. And yeah, once again, I can understand why this character would be in the top 25. In 21st place, we have our first Rise of Skywalker figure on the list. And it is Emperor Palpatine, Sith Eternal. I can completely understand why people would want this guy. Whether you're a fan of the sequel trilogy or not, it's the Emperor. And yeah, I can understand why he is on the list. Now, next in the list was Darth Maul from Mandalore from Season 7 of The Clone Wars, but he has been disqualified because, essentially, we know we are already getting that figure. So we'll move swiftly on to number 20, which is Moma Nadon, which is Hammerhead. I call him Hammerhead. And again, this one for me would be probably higher than 20th place. Hammerhead's a big one for me. I would really like this figure in the Vintage Collection. It would cross off one of the original 96, which is much needed and something that Hasbro are concentrating on this year. So I'm glad he is at least in the top 20. In 19th place, we have our second character from Rebels and it's Sabine Wren. Again, a Mandalorian figure, so I can understand why this one is in the top 25. Rebels characters, again, as I said, seem to be quite popular in this list. In 18th place, we have General Merrick, Blue Leader, from Rogue One. Another Rogue One character. And this is a character that has not been made in any scale. So we didn't even get this guy in the 5 POA. And I know myself and Only One Kenobi have been right behind this character being made. We need him in the Vintage Collection. And of course, 
if that were to happen, it would open up the chance of us getting a blue leader X-Wing as well. In 17th place, we have Ezra Bridger Padawan. Again, another character from Rebels. So these Rebel characters are right up in people's minds. Again, I do think it might have something to do with the fact that the Black Series have got the whole gang from the Ghost. I think that does have something to do with it. Um, a lot of people don't even like Rebels, but I quite like the cartoon and I'm all for getting the characters in the line. Next up in 16th place is Lobot. And again, another figure that I think we should have got last year when the Carbon Freezing Chamber was released. So, yep, and he would definitely scratch off another of the original 96. So, yep, come on, Hasbro, 16th place. He's, he's a wanted figure. Then they had another disqualified figure in Ahsoka Tano Mandalore. Again, this one has been confirmed for 2021. So that one has been, you know, scratched from the list, disqualified. In 15th place, we have a Mandalorian figure, and that is Cobb Vanth. Now, this one was a big favourite from the first episode of Season 2. Everybody wanted this figure. It kind of died down after that because even more awesome characters were in that show. But Cobb Vanth is one that everybody wants. It's in the top 15. And yeah, I'm all for that one. In 14th place, we have Princess Leia Organa on the A New Hope card. This would have to be an all-new figure, of course. The last time we got this one was in... 2004 i believe in the vintage original trilogy collection badly in need of an update and for such a major character we need a definitive princess leia on that card back so i'm glad she's nice and high up in that list in 13th place we have another rogue one character and this one is director krennic and i can completely understand why director krennic is so high up in the list he is the main baddie basically from rogue one Something that is completely missing from the Vintage Collection. We've got him in 5 POA. We've got him in the Black Series. There's something about villains in the Vintage Collection. We're missing a, a bunch of them. But uh, Director Krennic, high up on the list, which is good to see. In 12th place, we have Hera Sindula from, once again, Rebels. So once again, as I said, these Rebels characters are very, very popular. Quite surprised that Hera Sindula is above Sabine Wren, for example. There you go, she's there, and she is in 12th place. In 11th place, voted by the fans, we have Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order. This is the main guy from that video game, and once again, the vintage collection has been completely missed when it comes to that game, and I can understand the fans wanting that figure in their collections in the three and three quarter inch scale. Amazing card back again for this one. So come on Hasbro, Give us some of the video games characters and you can start with Cal Kestis. In 10th place, we're in the top 10 now. We have Paz Vizsla, which is the heavy infantry Mandalorian from the Mandalorian TV show. Amazing figure in the Black Series, this one. And I would absolutely love this in the Vintage Collection. This would be possibly in my top five, I'd have to say. But he does make the top 10. Would be an amazing figure. And it's a much needed one in the Vintage Collection. Now the next figure in the list is another disqualified figure. It is IG-11. He is now being confirmed for 2021. So we don't need to worry about him. We can scratch him off the list. So moving on to ninth place. We have Kanan Jarrus. Once again from Rebels. It is absolutely amazing how many Rebels figures are in the top 25. If you're considering all of the characters across all of the different properties and films and what have you. And all of these Rebels characters are in there. So Kanan Jarrus, he is in ninth place. In eighth place, we have Count Dooku. Now, again, another villain, which is completely missing from the Vintage Collection. I personally would like to see this guy on a Attack of the Clones card, as this one is depicted here. It looks very, very cool. And again, it's just a huge hole in the Vintage Collection for me, Count Dooku. So I'm glad he is in the top 10. In seventh place... Another great character, another favourite of mine, and we have Fennec Shand. She was absolutely amazing in The Mandalorian, especially in the final episode when she's up against all those stormtroopers and everything. She is one person that you do not want to mess with, and I'm pleased to know that I think she's going to be in the Bad Batch cartoon, and also, most likely, she's going to be in the Book of Boba Fett as well. Hopefully, we won't have to wait that long for when the Book of Boba Fett airs to get Fennec Shand, but she's in there, she's in seventh place. In sixth place, 
we have Bib Fortuna. Now, this is one that would most definitely be in my top five. He is a huge character from Return of the Jedi. He hasn't been updated since, I think, 2006 Saga Collection, which isn't a great figure in my opinion. We should have had a new version of this guy when the Jabba's Palace playset came out in, what, 2019? So he's well overdue. And again, it would be another big tick for the original 96. So come on, Hasbro, he's in sixth place. The fans are talking. Let's get Biv Fortuna done. Next up is another disqualified figure, which is the Emperor Palpatine, Return of the Jedi, because he is heavily rumoured for 2021. Not confirmed, but he is rumoured. So he has been disqualified from list. All right, then, moving on into the top five now. And in fifth place, we have the Dark Trooper from The Mandalorian. And I can completely understand why the Dark Troopers are so high up in this list. Of course, The Mandalorian was a big hit. The Dark Troopers have been around a while, but they were redesigned for this TV show. They looked absolutely awesome. You've got the chance of army building them. I think they would sell like absolute hotcakes. And I would imagine that we're going to get these Dark Troopers pretty soon in the Vintage Collection. I don't think Hasbro can miss a trick on that one. It would make them a lot of money. Let's just put it that way. Moving on to fourth place, we have Grand Admiral Thrawn. And on this particular card back, he is depicted as being in the Rebels TV show. So you've got the Rebels logo there. I've got a feeling that we won't get a Grand Admiral Thrawn until possibly the Ahsoka TV show. I think he's more than likely going to show up in that show. And I think that's when we'll get the figure personally. You never know, we might get one before, but that just makes sense to me. Now, next up is another and the final disqualified figure, and it is Quill. He is rumoured for 2021. Not 100% rumoured, but we were promised by Hasbro all of the characters that interacted with the Razor Crest. And I think Jason over at Yak Face is also rumoured that this figure's going to be coming in the same wave as the IG 11. So Quill has been disqualified. Right then. Into the top three, and this is where it gets really, really interesting. So we have Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian, depicted on the card back there from where she was in Corvus, I think it was called. Amazing episode in The Mandalorian. Again, she's going to be getting her own TV show. And of course, we're getting the Ahsoka from the Clone Wars this year in the Vintage Collection. So this is one that I think we'll probably have to wait for. I think we'll probably get her on her own Ahsoka card back which will be awesome in second place we have boba fett and this is the rearmored boba fett from the mandalorian he's looking fantastic in his new armor and of course that would translate into a figure really really well i'm you know this is just licensed to print money for hasbro if they release that figure part of me kind of wants the nomad boba fett as well so it's a difficult choice between these two possibly it could be a deluxe figure where it's got like clip-on armor or something like that but man the rearmored boba fett looks absolutely fantastic and this card back look just looks great so i can understand why he is so high up in the list and i'm sure we'll get it at some point so there you go then here we are on to first place and first place is bo katan from the mandalorian and I can completely understand why. I'm pretty sure we've never actually had a figure of Bo-Katan, even in the animated line. I might be wrong about that, but I don't think we ever got one in the animated line. We certainly haven't had one in the 3.75 inch vintage collection. And obviously the Black Series has just announced one. In fact, some people may even have that figure in their hands at the moment. But man, we need this figure so badly in the vintage collection. And she is in first place. You can't argue with the fans, Hasbro. The fans have spoken. I hope somebody from Hasbro is watching this or has at least seen the results on Instagram because Bo-Katan is in first place, voted by the fans, and everybody wants her. So come on, deliver the goods. So there you go then, guys. That is the top 25 most wanted figures in the Vintage Collection. I wanted to go through it really quickly, not to make this video too long. There's 25 to get through, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to know which figures you want in the Vintage Collection. But that is the top 25 as voted on Instagram on the SWTVC page. Great bunch of guys. I've been on a couple of their podcasts and I've had them on the Vintage Collection show on my live stream. Really nice guys, so please support them on, on Instagram. Make sure you give them a follow and yeah, listen to the podcast because they're awesome. So... I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. 
and we shall see you on the next one.